Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to run the test scripts in Jenkins. Let me answer. In order to run the test scripts in Jenkins, first we have to create a job in Jenkins. After creating a job, you have to configure that job so that it can fetch your code that is there in your project and then run your scripts. Okay. Then finally, you have to build the job so that it can run the scripts. Okay. Without building, it will not run the scripts. These are the three steps we have to follow in a sequential order to run the scripts in or run the test scripts in Jenkins. Let me practically demonstrate this for you so that you will understand it more better way. Okay. So I'll switch to Jenkins and first I'm going to create a job. I'll click on new item and uh, I'll just give something like Arun job or something. My name, first name and job and select this uh, freestyle project for now. Say, okay. Okay. It's already there. Maybe even, uh, maybe, okay. Refresh. Let me delete this uh, existing job. Maybe I double clicked it. That's why it came. New item. I'll give a different name. Let's say today is like a hmm, uh, job for running tests. Like this, I'll give some random name, select this and say, okay, you can give any name here. The job creation is done. First step is done. Like this, you have to create a job. After that, this is the configuration. These are the different uh, sections in configuration. First go to the general and uh, click on advanced and select use custom workspace. Here you have to give the path of the project. So let's say this is the project I want to okay run the automation scripts from. So I have to get the path of this project where this project is available in my machine. Right click on this project, say properties. And uh, here you got the under resource, you got the path of the project here. Just click on this option so that it will take you to that project location where the project is available. You can, you can see this is a folder where the project is available. So you can copy this path and you can clearly see a pom.xml file here. So, so that, uh, that, that helps us in understanding that this is a complete project path using which we can run the scripts and, uh, after that, go with the second section, source code management. For now, my scripts are there in my local machine, so I'll set it to none. Okay. If my scripts are there on the GitHub repositories and all, I have to go with it. Okay. Either of this, you can select. For now, first we'll go with the none option. Okay. Because my scripts are there in my local machine for now. Okay. This project is there in my local machine. Similarly, here build triggers, I'll ignore. If you want to configure any of the settings, you can configure. Uh, build environment, I'll ignore for now. Okay. And build steps. Here, we need to run the test, right? So in order to run the test, uh, we have to invoke some commands. If When we run the job, that job will invoke this. Uh, this is a Maven project. So whatever I'm fetching from my local repo, in general, real time also Maven projects will be there. So when I say invoke top level Maven targets, uh, just select Maven home. Maven is already configured as uh, explained in one of the previous uh, interview question videos. Okay, so you can go there and understand. And after that, give that uh, MVN test. Instead of MVN test, just give that uh, test goal, okay? Test goal, okay? Then that is fine. And uh, post build actions, uh, you can give any. Otherwise, you can ignore also. I'll just have this uh, test ng plugin already installed. So I have installed manually here. So I'll select this test ng and say apply and save. Now, after that, configuration is done, guys, okay? So creation is done, configuration is done. Now we have to build build to run the test. Okay. So select this job that has been created just now and select build now. Immediately we'll see some build will start running. Okay. Hash one of this uh, job has start running and you can click on that. And again, click on this uh, link. You'll go to this uh, console output. Click on so that if you click on the console output, you can see what's going in the background. Only one test is there. One automation script is there in this project and that too, it will open a blank window and maximize and close. Nothing much in that uh, test. Okay. The, this, uh, this, this is just to prove that how to run the scripts from Jenkins. Okay. That's why I'm not taking the thing seriously. Okay. Maximize the browser window and close. Okay. Done. Build successful. Test got passed. Okay. You can uh, go to the build and, uh, you know, uh, test engine results and you can get the results also. If test engine results are there, fine. And other ways like, you know, uh, you can create another job. Second job. I'll say second job for now. Second job. And I'll select this, uh, which one I need to select. We can select any of this. I'll, I'll go with this, uh, Maven project for now. Say, okay. This time I'll not take from local repo. 
rather I'll go with, uh, you know, in general, I don't have to change anything in this case. Source code management, I have to select Git. And here I need to give the GitHub URL, uh, repo URL. I'll go to my GitHub account where already some repositories are already there, your repositories. Once I go to that repositories, uh, there are a lot of repos. I'll go with one of the repository and uh, copy this repository URL and paste it here. In this project code, you see pom.xml file and everything is there. And uh, don't, don't expect the scripts to run properly because that is the old one. So credentials, already I have added the GitHub uh, credentials here. Okay, whatever the this account credentials are there, you can you can manually add also. Just click on this add and send Jenkins or whatever it is and give the username password here and say add. Then you will get this option to select these credentials. And after that, uh, see in which branch it is there. This particular GitHub repo is there in the master branch. Make sure that it is master matching. And after that, uh, uh, just remove this. Don't uh, we don't have to go depth into this build triggers and all build environment and all. Here, pre some pre steps are there. Even we don't have to. Uh, some pre steps are there, like invoke top level. Let's not worry about that. Here under the build, we have pom.xml file. Okay, it's locating the pom.xml file in this GitHub repo, and uh, I'll just give the goal as test, like MVN instead of MVN test. I'll give test, and simply. I'll I'll go to this last post build actions and I'll just select publish testng results since testng plugin is already there with me. Save. Now second job is created and let me run the second job. This is another way where you are not getting the code from the local repo, rather you are getting from the GitHub cloud repo. Okay. Build now. That's it. See the script started running. The build started running. Just keep on clicking. Console output. You can see some operations are going on. You will see a lot of things as skip or failure. But uh, ultimately, the thing is like uh, how to run the scripts. Uh, okay, using Jenkins when the code is not there in your local machine or the project is there in the cloud repo. Okay, that's this is another way. Okay. Let's wait for the this console output to complete and uh, to get some result and all. Looks like the test started running. They're failing actually. You see, you can see error running command and all those things are coming. Let's all of them fail and we get some report and all. So then we got a report, everything got skipped, okay, because of some reasons. Don't worry about that. It is an old repo, so things will not work fine. So build success, but uh, things a lot of failures and all those stuff. Okay. So that's fine. You can go to this and uh, check the results, test and the results also if you want. So hope guys, uh, you understood how to run the test scripts in Jenkins, okay? By creating a job, by configuring a job, by building a building the job, okay? So the scripts may be from your local machine, okay? Where the project may be from your local machine or the project may be on the GitHub cloud repo. So with practical demonstration, I have answered this question for you. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.